Salakia, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, glory. Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rachachodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity. Um, so I want to the Akim that are risking their lives and their freedom to do so. So I want to the elder apostles that uh, um, taught us this truth. Um, so I want to the Akwak and the Akim out there that are listening and learning. And I hope um, this lesson is edifying. This is the brother Yawasap out of the GMS Cleveland Church um, coming at you with a, a lesson. Um, the Spirit had been met on me to do a lesson um, ever since I seen that movie Upgraded. And I heard Apostle Ramalab go into the movie. And, you know, so a few brothers in the camp saw it. And, um, you know, I think maybe like, I came across this book. Uh, came across this, uh, it won't let me get the book. So lock you. Um, bear with me for a second because I got to get the book. But I came across this book um, maybe like last year, I want to say, um, and never really had a script to, to um, never really had a, um, I meant to read it, but um, put it like this, the spirit. I believe that the spirit want me to bring this book out because it, it basically, um, Lockie, what am I doing? It basically goes into all, um, uh, Esau, um, technology. Um, the book is called beast tech by, um, this guy, Thomas Horn. And, um, basically he's going to go into the chip and all that. So, um, this is like the table of contents. Um, I'm not going to read the whole book. But um, I'm going to read some chapters out of it. But um, I'm going to start off with a scripture. I meant to uh, do that from the get-go. Um, this is the book of 2 Corinthians um, chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And um, that's what I want to start this lesson off with. Um, you know, Esau... Um, Basically, you know, he has all this technology um, and, you know, you know, you got a lot of people that like, who's to say, but, it, you know, I know a lot of people or I've met a majority of people that are aware of the chip. You got a few people that aren't aware, but, you know, for the most part, you know, people are aware of this because, you know, everybody's trying to keep up with technology. Um you know, uh, I've seen people sit and, you know, in my, my camp when we were out on the highways and byways, people may come up and look at it, read the uh, Mark of the Beast sign, never really speak on it, but then I've heard people come out and actually, you know, are aware of the technology. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, but the man of the Lord, you know, um, you know, are truly not ignorant of the um, Satan's devices. And um, like I said, I just through the spirit, you know, um, I heard a lot of brothers going into the market of beast, um, Apostle Tahar, um, Apostle Ramlob. Um, like I said, and I always had this book, and you know, I've I guess that's one of the talents the Most High has given me. I've always been fascinated with books, and I've always been able to come. Um, I, I, I can't say always, but I, the Most High puts books in my path. So, um, like I said, I've read a, a book by this guy, um, Thomas Horn, before. He got a book called. Um, Apollyon Rising, and then he has um, some, damn, I can't think of the name of the damn book. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. But the guy writes a lot of books. You know, I'm, I'm not for sure if he's an Edomite or what, um, but he writes a lot of books on Bible prophecy. Um, he had one. I know one of them is called Apollyon Rising, and then uh, it was one, oh, that's what it is, Zenith, 2012. And, you know, it's if you haven't, you know, heard of this guy, Thomas Horn, you know, go check him out. I, I know he, he's been on the Edomite um, Prophecy Club show. And, he, you know, it, but you know how Esau is. So, Colonel, he does a lot for money. But, you know, at the same time, it's some revealing information in the books. But um, without further ado, as you can see from just the um, table of contents, what this says, you know what I mean? You know, um, Chapter 3, New World Order. 
New World Order organizations, the Alumni and Friends, Chapter 4, Barcodes, GPS, RFID, and the Beastly Biochips of Tomorrow. Um, chapter 5, Resistance is Futile, the Plan to Bore Humanity. And that's the spirit because um, one of the brothers in our camp, he always bringing out, um, damn, Boston Dynamics and the um, robots that they ha haven't been able to do um, per car. So, you know, uh, you know, maybe I'll uh, go ahead and just read the whole book, you know, who's to say. But, um, I'm a, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just start at the beginning. Uh, it says, there is more, there's not a sp more spine-chilling section in the entire Bible than Revelation 13. This chapter describes a world dictator who appears just prior to the second coming of Yahweh Mashiach. He's commonly known as the Antichrist or the Beast. Now, see, he automatically going off right there because the Beast is a system. You know what I mean? And, and um, what's that? First John 2 and 18 tells you that there are many Antichrists. So it's not just one Antichrist. You know, it's a group of more than likely men, more than likely, I mean, I'm not for sure, you know, but. You know, it could be the Illuminati, a group of men that wants this wicked ass system. Uh, this beast uses a universal numbering system placed on people called the mark of the beast. Now, that is true. No one can buy or sell without this mark. It seems that everyone knows about the number 666, even those with little knowledge of the Bible, as it is identified as the infamous devil's number. This is probably one of the most widely known verses in the entire Bible. Um, and he causes all to receive a mark and that's the spirit because i was going to actually that was going to be one of my next scriptures if i would have started at that chapter where it was talking about um the rfid chip um and he causes all to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here's wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six and that's revelations 13 um verses 16 to 18 for centuries the fulfillment of these verses was a mystery no one could understand how a marketing system would control buying and selling throughout the entire world it no longer takes simply salaki a simple faith to believe this as the literal fulfillment is now coming together with incredible speed right before your eyes computers the internet wi-fi social media and all modern technology plus worldwide trends such as a one world economic system and government are creating conditions that can fulfill revelations 13 16 through 18 as the prophet daniel wrote 2500 years ago knowledge would explode at the at the very time the 666 surveillance system came together and i'm gonna get that because that's the spirit when you're going at knowledge exploding what is that you know we all um, i've heard brothers refer to you know these smartphones as crystal balls, you know what I mean? But in the end, uh, uh, Salaki, in actuality, they are, you know, magical devices. I mean, through the, I mean, because at the end of the day, even if Esau, but, you know, they say Jake can't actually invented the cell phone. You know, Jake is the uh, former of all things. But at the end of the day, um, the, the, uh, basically, I was going to get at, um, you know, like this smartphone could actually it's like a mini computer you can actually how could you know what's going on in another part of the world without being there right now i mean you know like i talked to a female over overseas right now just i mean you know something to do somebody i've been talking to for years but my point is it, you know in real time but they're so-called based on the time zones i mean you gotta remember we're on the um, western um hemisphere of the earth so on the eastern hemisphere, like right now, it's like seven o'clock in the evening. It's dark over here, but it's daylight over there. So, but so we're in two different hemispheres. So the sun is on that side while we're in darkness on this side. But yet, and still, I'm talking to this person in real time. These phones are amazing, and it is it is a scripture in Daniel where it says knowledge shall increase. What is that? The internet. The sad part is a lot of um, Jake, not just Jake, but a lot of uh, people basically are blinded by the most high because they don't realize it. I mean, you know, they want to check out, um, you know, um, that, that I never even listened to this guy, that six, nine guy though. Um, you know, I, I got a guy, I know he's a two third and he, uh, well, he should show you how the spirit jumps on 
even a two third. Uh, but he, he, you know, one day we were um, at the site and he was saying how um, somebody had slapped a rapper, Floyd Mayweather had slapped a rapper. And that's, you know, these are the things that concern Jake, you know what I mean? Um, carnal, superficial shit, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'll go into, you know, the market of beasts or the economy crash and, and he don't want to hear. He want to believe, oh, he got his special relationship with the most high. And, and that's it, and you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, he gonna be sadly mistaken when he destroyed, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I don't um, cry or bust my, or break my neck anymore for Jake like that, you know what I mean? I used to, not anymore, because at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, the hopeful elect, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, if you're not doing what I'm doing, why should I care? If you ain't laboring or suffering with me, or supping with me, why should I give a fuck? Because they, trust and believe, you know, most times bless me right now, but it was times when I was suffering. And, you know, you don't never completely not suffer. You know what I mean? Even if your finances get together, then it's um, it's an issue with something else. So, um, anyhow, I was supposed to be getting that scripture, um, the book of Daniel. Because at the end of the day, when knowledge increases, knowledge increases because of the internet. And, like I say, Right now, so you know that's a prophecy in itself. Um, knowledge, shall increase. Daniel twelve and four. Should have knew that. Uh, so I can. Bear with me. Uh, went out the cabin. I'm extremely tired, but the spirit is on me to do this video because I, you know, I can say I prolonged it, but you know, just it's meant for the video to come out today. It says, "But thou, O Daniel, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, increased. Ra ba, be or become great, be or become many." Be or become much. Be or become numerous. So when you take the time to think about it, like you don't even have to really pay for schooling now. You know what I mean? Like I got a dude that works in the trades. You know, he's like a contractor. And he say at the end of the day, you know, he knows how to do a lot of stuff. But at the same time, no, nah, you just go on YouTube and watch a video. You know what I mean? You don't know how to fix a car. Or either way, you want to learn how to fix your car. Oh, yeah. You, you want to save some money instead of taking it to an auto mechanic? You go right on YouTube, change, learn how to change your starter. So that's proven. Um, knowledge shall increase. Um, at the end of days, it said, um, uh, today a person can use a credit card virtually any place in the world. It has become the universal financial instrument. This instrument is taken for granted, but think how technologically advanced transitions, trans transactions have become when a person can make a purchase in a foreign country without currency this same purchase is then instantly registered in the funds withdrawal withdrawn and you do that every day you know what i mean when you ordering online you know i got a brother that um buys his um ponchos from this place and that was the spirit because i came across the place on the internet you know what i mean but this place is in columbia you know what i mean he's making the transaction because you know before they even go get the order that you know you, you put in your credit card information and you know what I mean? So, you know, just backing up what that statement said, this same purchase is then instantly registered and the funds withdrawn. All merchandise now is identified with a RFID, radio frequency identification label, or the quick response code for electronic tracking. A smartphone can read the QR code. The International Business Machines Corporation, commonly referred to as IBM, is now working to identify and track every item manufactured and sold in the world. These numbers are in the trillions. Then it will be very easy to match these items with the purchaser. With the rapidly advancing technologies, this is not far off. The technological ability to operate a global cash economic system is now in place for a good percentage of the world. The elimination of cash is all that is needed to bring the system online. A worldwide economic crisis could be the catalyst to this to slock it. A worldwide economic crisis will be the catalyst to set this up. 
I'm going to read that one more again. A worldwide economic crisis could be the catalyst to set this up. And that's what the brothers always speak on. All it takes is for the dollar bill to crash. And the dollar bill is the major, you know, the petrol dollar. Every, cur every country deals with this money because oil is like the biggest traded commodity in the world. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, to trade an oil or to purchase oil, you have to buy the American dollar. So if the American dollar was to crash, you don't think, I mean, pay attention to the news when people actually, when, when the America, you know, other countries, when, when our money is fucked with, it affects other countries' money as well. Why do you think you got Russia and China and Venezuela and all these other countries trying to go around doing, dealing with the fucking dollar? Um, the Bible states that no one is going to buy or sell without a mark in the right hand or forehead. This mark is the advanced developmental is in the advanced developmental stage with various applications to put electronic tattoos on the body. One idea is to merge technology with biotechnology. The microelectronics telaki technology is called the epidermal electronic system. The idea is to have a substance like silk laced microelectronics. So like it, microelectronics that dissolve and leave the circuits on the skin. This system is planned to be tied into a universal Wi-Fi. With this structure in full operation, there could be a real-time monitoring of everything being sold. No one will be able, no one will be able to buy or sell without government approval. And that's deep. And I'm, I don't mean to um, digress. But, uh, you know, that's the spirit because when I was in the workhouse, you know, I came across certain books. I read out of this one book that MacArthur's commentary, uh, you know, I just took it as a spirit. The spirit wanted me to bring certain stuff out. And there's this book I came across in the workhouse. And I kept this book for for at least like a year and a half. And the, my, mind you, the whole time I'm in the elements, you know. I just recently, the most high, blessed me, call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Archa, blessed me with a place. And um, but all the time I've been, you know, I'm holding on to this book. And right before I actually um got the place, I was in the shelter, and um, I had the book inside um uh, the locker, and it just was stolen. You know what I mean? And you know that was just Satan, actually. But it, it at the end of the day, it, it went into what all Esau, and I can't think of the damn book name, but it actually because you know what's that scripture where it says uh they think their houses will live forever. You know, Esau, uh, you know, so arrogant. He get to talking about how he, you know, what they're trying to do in 2085, you know what I mean? Buck Rogers shit, 2263, you know what I mean? Like, so at the end, they, with, you know, these guys are talking about time travel and everything. This was, And I, I wanted to do lessons out of the book. I was going to do what I'm doing now. But anyhow, um, if it's meant... You know, the spirit of bring back the recollection of the name of the book, and I can do that one day. I remember what the title, I mean, what the, the, the cover of the book looked like. But anyhow, um, like I say, I think this is going to be a pretty good book because the guy, um, Thomas Horn, is a decent author. And like I say, he does bring out um, good, solid information, you know what I mean? But like, like you see, he goes off on certain things, you know. Tied into the ability to control all buying and selling will be the complete monitoring of everything related to you. The mark of the beast is a numbering system, and now through your social security number, all information about you can be monitored. And at the end of the day, that's the, you know, the truth of me. I just remember hearing Apostle Ramlov speaking on how, you know, at the end of the day, they want to know and watch and see everything you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, and you got so stupid-ass people out here that for the sake of comfort, what you really never will be super comfortable, but, you know, for the sake of comfort, you know, you got people that, uh, I mean, I literally, you know, I don't try not to fuck with Facebook, but I was seeing some things, you got people sitting up there, yeah, take away the guns, you know what I mean, like, just you that fucking stupid, you know, you're like, that's the only reason why Esau hasn't put this thing down the way he wants, you better go check in the history, majority of them countries that did where they just basically did martial law, they they, they had unarmed the, the populace, they had unarmed the people, so that's probably main, the main reason why Esau hasn't really just put this thing in the full effect yet. That's why you got all these, um, what's that word? Um, these um, these fake um, 
shootings and whatnot because they trying to get enough people to agree to, oh, yeah, come after the guns. You know what I mean? Uh, all information about you can be monitored. You need this number for everything from bank accounts to a driver's license, along with all medical information and credit cards. Everything now revolves around your SSN. With the added advantage of newly developing technology, everything controlled by the SSN will be centralized into one file and controlled and updated in real time. And that's the truth. I mean, like, once you, because in the, how you got this central banking system over here, like, once you take out loans and you in debt with them, you can't run to nowhere else. You know what I mean? Because everywhere there's a central bank, that's going to follow you. Um, I'm going to stop there.